After presenting the spigot connector in the first video of this series, we will now move on to the conical connector. This connection system is based on the same functional principle, but its design allows for a more solid connection. The main cord is shorter than the actual length of the truss, so the connector is welded on. With some types of truss, the inner end of the connector is longer, which means the connector is not welded, but instead is attached with spring pins. The tensile or compressive force in the main cord is therefore transmitted to the connector via the welded on or pin connection. The truss pin absorbs the force, takes on considerable shearing stress and transfers this force to the inner cone via bearing stresses. From there, the forces goes in reverse order into the main cord of the adjoining truss. Depending on the strength ratio between the standard steel truss pin and the aluminium components of the connector, the bolt is not only stressed on shearing, but also on bending. One of its main advantages is that the force always remains symmetrical on the longitudinal axis of the main tube. Depending on the forces to be transmitted or the geometry of the tube on the truss, the geometry of the conical connector is adapted accordingly. This system has a number of advantages that have given it a large market share. The forces always flow symmetrically along the longitudinal axis of the main cord. The thick walled connector protects the end of the truss during transport due to the conical design of the internal connector and the truss pin. A backlash free connection and very rigid connection is possible. The installation length corresponds to the actual truss length. And finally, the assembly is quick and easy with just a hammer.